the modulo 12 clock, or what we'll call for short the mod 12 clock. This is going to become a very useful tool. The mod 12 clock is just like a regular clock, but instead of 12 at the top, instead of the hour 12 at the top, we put a zero at the top. So there's a 1 o'clock, a 2 o'clock, a 3 o'clock, a 10 o'clock, an 11 o'clock, but a 0 o'clock. So it uses modular arithmetic, which is where you restart the system instead of reaching 12. So instead of reaching 12 after 11, you restart at 0. So in this system, 1 plus 2 is 3, and 5 plus 5 is 10, but 5 plus 7 is 0, because after you get to 11, you go back to 0. 11 plus 2 is 1 because after 11 is 0, and then 1 after that is 1. This is like saying 7 af hours after 5 is midnight. So we do this kind of arithmetic when we tell time. 7 hours after 5 is midnight, or 2 hours after 11 is 1, because after 11 you get midnight or noon, and then you restart with 1 o'clock. So how will we use this? Well, consider how many half steps there are in an octave. So if a whole step equals two half steps, then our whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half pattern will become something like this, where you go from scales of one to two with two half steps, two to three with two half steps, and three to four, what I placed in yellow there, is only one half step. And so if we unraveled this and we placed a step on the circle for every half step, we would get something like this, and we'd have 12 total circles with an empty space between our scales whole steps. So scale degree 1 to scale degree 2, we've got an empty space in between that. But because between scale degree 3 and scale degree 4 is a half step, there's no space in between it. And we'll have 12 total circles. Now the same thing works with our letter base system between C and D as a whole step, so there's a space between it. But between B and C and E and F are half steps, and so therefore there aren't empty spaces in between it. And we can usefully imagine this as a 12-step clock, where there are 12 um, slots, and when you get to the end, when you get to B, you go back to C. So we start at the top of the clock, and this would be 0. But it could also be C, or it could also be scale degree 1. And so this tool is going to align C with 0. Then if C is 0, that means that D is going to be 2 half steps away, and so it's going to align with 2. And 1 half step above C is therefore going to be 1. And so if you start the whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half pattern on C, this will give you the pitch classes C, D, E, F, G, A, B in our regular C major scale. But if we align it with numbers, on the 12-step clock, you get 0, 2, 4, 5, 7, 9, and 11. And this will become very useful when we start to study new scales and when we start to write chords.